smack! Whoa, Betsy! Holy Jack! Oh. We're loaded down. Warning, we're just having fun. If you take stuff too serious, this channel may not be for you, buddy. Well, 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 here we go again. So let's see, what did we do last week? I think we went and played with old Minneapolis Moline. Uh, by the way, closed the website down for a week, so that should be think we should have it up and going now uh just let us get caught up on stuff you know because well we're not amazon prime so we don't get her out we don't got a two-day turnaround time but anyhow uh yeah old mortsky was down here last week and we went and played with a minneapolis moline out at my dad's smack oh oh, oh. 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 Oh yeah, you want a sprayer? Let me see if I can't ride the lightning. Yes, yeah, that's a little dirtier than I thought it was gonna be. Looks like crap just fell fell down in there, don't it? Yep. Right up out the hole. Where'd it go? And here we are again, and he's trying to break into my house because someone snapped their key off in there, so that's always good. It's a good day until this point. That's debatable, even. Uh, the Minneapolis Moline, some of the audio was butchered up from the camera, so we ran around all day today until we finally found the GoPro in stock. Uh, but the Puddin's Fab Shop favorite of the month, old Yeehaw. Well, let's go check her out. Here she is in all of her glory. Now, we got this thing going. We got her all kind of fixed up here. Still need some new stickers. Uh, and we even, hell, we drove her to the O'Reilly's and we picked up a crate motor. Still need to unload that, actually. Uh, but she's been sitting out here. Oh, looky there, someone left a screwdriver. That couldn't have been me. Yeah, I may have robbed the fuel pump off of her the other day. We needed it for the old dual uh, the datsuns old datsun battle so uh we need to get this back on here and we're gonna pull her in the shop be sure to lay one of these down when it decides to rain 14 inches overnight also if you have a travel law and you ain't washed out the inside in a while you leave down all four windows and let her sit out during 14 inches and it'll wash the inside out pretty good too ask me how i know so don't mind me I'll just keep robbing fuel pumps when these things are like two for twelve dollars. There you go. Oh, locking pliers for the wind right there. Oh, fuel hose will never uncollapse now. Oh, she's good. Never mind. This is a good practice anyhow because uh Anyone who uses these little electric cheap fuel pumps, you know, you just do them on the regular, so you might as well practice. Plug her in. Take those locking pliers off. I forgot I cut and stripped the wire, so that ain't just gonna stick there. Maybe for now we can take her right to there to get her in the shop. You know, because we don't want to walk 20 yards and get wire strippers or nothing. That'd be way too much work. Well, our ground's working at least. Y'all don't want to see what's coming my way. Look at this poser. Look at this wannabe. Oh, you haul. What do you know about the yee haul, baby? Yee haul! Yeah. Yeah, you better get out of my territory. Now we got a Sir Mordecus giving us the hydraulics. Oh, he killed it. We're gonna pull her up to the shop and, well, there's a couple things we need to look on her and, yeah, we'll make a game plan. How's that? Game plans are good. 
So the big picture plan here is to look at some stuff with the Yeehaw. We're gonna road trip it to the Chickasha swap meet, right? So, Oklahoma. Hey, he's he's been there when he was a kid ish, even. Young, that wasn't that long ago. Younger man, anyhow. When was it? 1999. Okay, so it's 2021. That's kind of a long time ago. I was eight. <laughs> I was eight. That's a long time ago. Damn. Uh, we want to take it. I still got a crank motor in the back, as I showed y'all. So we need to get the motor out of it. But over here in the engine department, we're a little flooded right now. So we need to get some engines out of here. That's where this thing comes into play. He's leaving this down here with me. But he wants his motor and transmission. So we're going to pull the motor and transmission out of this. But first, we're going to turn it around. And we're going to get those in the back of there. Yeah. And we'll just keep going as we go. And y'all can kind of see what's cooking on. Cooking up around here. Cooking with pudding. Yeah, cooking with pudding. First you eat what I cook. Then you get your dessert. People That's probably, me. <laughs> people probably think you cook other stuff around here, though. Oh. That, hey. That's go, Randy up the street. Yeah, go about nine miles that way and you're in the capital. <laughs> yeah, so he's going to whip this around. He's even got one of them fancy $75 child labor carburetors on this thing now. She's a little ripper. Oh, about made Ashley drop my packages. <laughs> Yay, Christmas! It's always Christmas around here when you got this present. Oh, that big, come on! She hates my compliments. They're only, they're only nice saying this because you're here. He's never this nice when you're not here. Lies. No. Lies. <laughs> Mortsky's going to be the best dad ever one day after seeing my training, my parenting style. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> we get the drivetrain pulled and we'll set this on it. Whoa, Betsy! Oh! Gotta, gotta stay strong. So I don't even think I ever said this. Maybe I did, maybe I didn't. If I didn't, I apologize, Kenny. Uh, Kenny brought me a five-speed for the old Yeehaw. Now, we were gonna try to power swap this thing in there, but I think we gotta shorten the drive shaft, and we need to leave tomorrow, so we ain't gonna do that. But... We appreciate the five speed anyhow. Uh, these other engines, I just gotta get it cleaned up over here, guys. It's been driving me crazy. We're gonna take all the five speed stuff behind the shop. We're gonna figure out the rest as we go. We're gonna take the L18. Now this is from old Blue 42. If y'all don't know who she is, we rescued her from a salvage. Got her running on maybe three cylinders. May only been two. And we tried to move a gooseneck with her. Thought we may need this for this one, but surprise, factory one's rebuilt, so we have an engine for this. We're not getting rid of that one. These two Datsun engines are going back in the back of the Datsun that's about to get the drivetrain pulled. You take one engine from the front, put one and a half in the back, subtract the tink tink, pile of Datsun parts. No, oh, that ain't bad at all, really. <laughs> Datsun life. Yeah. I figured Mr. Stuck Engine himself here would free this one up. I might take this with me. Gotta get rid of this one because some idiot ran a sawzall across it the other day, so. Uh, split hoses and or cut hoses and air pressure. Just don't mix. She ain't gonna do diddly without pressure. There we go. So if you're standing on this side, it can only handle 100 pounds. If you go to this side, you can pick up 4,000. <laughs> What's the deal with the trigger? You gotta hold it the whole time? No, I fixed the brake. It works. Oh, it's functioning. Will it lift? Oh, will it smash that electric cable right in half? <laughs> At least it didn't hit the headers. What is this chain? Is this for hanging chandeliers? Yeah, it ain't it ain't for this, but it works. We should we should paint it gold, Rick. <laughs> No, oh, it's it's nice. It is nice. It's real quiet like. Pretty sure those two engines squatted the back of this one more than the gooseneck squatted the blue one. Oh, it's still got plenty of capacity. 
If the dancing blocks are rocking, don't come a knocking. We're good here on old nanner pudding. Oh, yeah. That a tailgate of old nanner pudding works about as good as my back does anymore. You don't want to set a brand new engine on a mess, do you? Uh, that's also where you leave your uh, pressure plate bolts and uh, flex plate bolts and everything, or flywheel, whatever, you know what I mean. Set them right there on your crane. Don't drop it on that hose. Yeah. It's our last good one. Can't afford a new hose, can't afford a new engine. It's the perfect engine storage spot. Come on, Yukon, you can do it. <laughs> we don't need to be fixing that today, too. What can we afford plenty of? Spark deterrent blankets. I don't know, actually they, they welcome sparks, they'll light right up. But. Dust deterrent, there we go. It's the best way to store a new engine. Now what are we doing, tell them. Tell them. We're gonna slap these on that because we gotta give that back to the O'Reilly's. Can't believe you're just giving the 5.H20 back as a core. That's a perfectly good engine. But the 305 H2O that a lot of people don't know about, these things would flat out run. Underneath the hood, two dead giveaways. Water injection tank with the pickup hose and water injection hose to the two barrel carburetor. The water would actually inject into the motor. Now when that was in there, it helped vaporize the fuel for higher combustion and also it would clean out the combustion chambers from the water, keeping it for a smoother surface, allowing more flow through the engine and more horsepower. This is from the Free 10. So she's serving some purpose in life one way or another. And cough please. <coughs> Again. Once more. <coughs> Yeehaw! More like I can't see diddly in reverse express. Getting out of Sonic after getting that chili cheese dog the other day was terrible. I say let's grab it and slide it as close as we can. There we go. Be sure to drop that. You got to return it. Look at a fancy ratchet strap, nice and loose. <laughs> Give our old zip tie a snip. We're just gonna open up the old special baggie here and uh, get her picked out that way. Just one fitting. That's, that must be the, that's for the NOS. That's what that mm. fitting is. I'll tell you right there. No, it won't. <laughs> <laughs> what else we got in here? What in the Sam Hell? Chrome valve covers and <laughs> timing cover? You don't even have to paint them. <laughs> They'd look better painted, that's for certain. <laughs> Holy. Not a fan of the chrome. It'll look appropriate in what it's going in. Make sure to use the sh shortest bolts on hand. If we scratch these, I'm not going to be upset because I doubt they stay on there. But then again, they might. Just depends on your budget. Right now, these came with the engine. We'll take it. All right, here's where it gets fun. We've got her chained up with a bolt in there. That's the secret where your chain don't slide. So that way, when you take a crate motor out of the back of your Yeehaw with your crane, uh, you know how to do it. I'll put my hand up here so that it doesn't scuff the Yeehaw. You mean that patina sauce won't protect against chains? Oh yeah, she'll slide. She's a dandy, look at that baby. Typical small block Chevy with uh, cork gaskets and everything. She's leaking already, all we did was take her out the crate. <laughs> so, y'all know I'm a little shade tree, but he's got these certificate things, so he, he was educating me on See, I thought those were for your jeans, for your britches, it's just a button. So I don't know what they call these, but they're like, they look like a magnet and they got glue on the back and it says void if removed. Basically that tells you 
If pudding here overheats this thing, those will fall off and his warranty is voided. But we don't have to worry about that because they've been trying to reach him about the extended warranty on the travel all for months and he hasn't replied. And I found those on eBay and we'll just glue some new ones on. <laughs> well, you know where it was remanned at. Mexico. <laughs> and it's got the jalapeno valve cover bolts on it. <laughs> she's a hot one. Yeah. You like them spicy around here. That's because she's got a three quarter hog cam in her. See All right, we? we're gonna set her for the. We're gonna aim for the wheel dolly anyhow, where she can go mobile. Don't you got another Mexican blanket? We'll seal it right up. Or do yep. we want to set it in the bag? Oh, that's what I meant to do. <laughs> <laughs> we talked about. We discussed it before. Oh, you're supposed to put silicone across the whole china wall. They're just telling you to dab it in the corners. It's making yeah. me question this stuff. Yeah, even I know that one. Longer bolts here will bent push rods. Past tense, bent. <laughs> will bent. Oh, so you know <laughs> you know it's good when it's got the proper ingress on it. Uh-oh. Boss is awake. Uh-oh. Hello, Mr. Creed. You want to work in the shop with the boys? He's already he's always ready to punch somebody. Yep. He's always got that little fist. <gasps> Tell him about it. What do you mean you want a $3 an hour raise? We can't afford you. <laughs> yeah, at least you think Jacob's funny. Today on Mr. Creed's Fab Shop, we poop ourselves. <laughs> Just like Putin's Fab Shop. Oh man, I'm playing with babies and old Mordecai. He's ratchet strapping top heavy engines to you're harbor putting, freight, wheel dollies. You're and, putting babies and fans to sleep and I'm over here putting engines away. Yeah, nobody puts engine in the corner. You need to take the restrictor plate out of this thing. Yeah. You ain't got time for this. Took the restrictor plate off, give the Red Dragon a little more juice. Fits and ships. Oh yeah. Perfect slip blanket design. Oh. Straining my back, I'm an old man. Make sure to use the wrong size bolts, you know. If you just ain't got them laying around. Where are we going? What do you want? I'm just gonna hold this side down while he goes and gets some bolts instead of letting it drop through the floor on the e haul That floor will take it. Once. There we go. There she clicked. There she went. You know why I buy crate engines and have engines rebuilt? Because I'm not a engine guy. He's a sheet metal fabricator, just ask him. No, I'm not. I don't claim to be nothing. There's one title I'll take, Pot County Legend. And other than that, I don't want it. Dotson King? Don't want it. International Master? Nope. I'll take Mr. Miyagi, but other than that, Mr. Miyagi, Pot County Legend, and Engine Crater Deluxe. Speaking of nicknames, next year you're going to come down and collaborate with Dad on his channel because y'all's like best friends now. <laughs> Jimmy and Mort's shenanigans. I'm going to get it right over the rear axle. There we go. Return clean or pay $20 service charge. Yeah. I thought these things were only like $15.99 to rent them. It costs more to clean them than it does to rent them? Huh? Woo. Oh, man. Got her in the old echo chamber. <laughs> Put you in the gas chamber. Y'all know that classic saying. Hot damn! Oh, did I lock that? That was magic. Told y'all it was Mr. Miyagi. So we got us a list here. Uh, some stuff to get, maybe some stuff to do. Either way, we're gonna get this engine dropped off tonight and see what we can come up with. We may have found a couple more surprises up front. Maybe you can see that bottom pulley doing the old wobble dance. She looks good and true. We do have an extra one of those off the parts rig, which is better than none at all. But we're going to at least try to get the back empty and get what we can get. Well, if you like it, why don't you come get your engine out of the back of it? <laughs> uh, one of y'all got an engine anyhow. Here we go with the old janky forklift again. He's a good one. Damn, save some crate engine for the rest of us, hunt. <laughs> Don't scratch. Don't scratch the paint. Two yeah. more payments, this thing's mine. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, gosh. Here it goes. Probably don't want to have to. Just a four. 
Yeah, it's just old janky 305. Who needs wiper blades when you got the rain -X? Oh yeah. We'll take her. That's an Oklahoma exhaust job in a box right there. You're gonna be you're gonna be lucky if I don't put this old Well, I ain't gonna say what I'd call that, but we can just turn her down out the bottom. This stuff works on exhaust manifolds. Hey, if it's made by JB oh. Weld, you better be careful because it may get the job done. It's got the tiger. Tiger claw. <laughs> Make a tiger noise because I just want to hear you. <laughs> so we made out with some stuff anyhow. We got some windshield wipers. Good old Rain-X classic. Speaking of classic, when's the last time you put one of these in your old hot rod? <laughs> she gets tired of dealing with me because I'm ornery. Not always. We did a little decent highway run on the way back. So Mordecai has a little more confidence in her, I think. We're gonna start looking. <laughs> I couldn't have had any less. Number one, he says, is the ground on the fuel pump. Cause we may have just drove around trip with that wire twisted onto the mount bolt, but it, she made it. It was a solid single twist even, not even a double uh, twist. T-stat is still definitely leaking. Oh, we got priorities. Hey, look at All you. right, I hear that or he's teaching me how to count. So let's just go one at a time here. Ground. I'm just going to rebut splice this ground here and we'll be good to go, guys. Uh, but I am, because we're going to probably be doing some testing with the key on, going to unplug the old spade here. That way she ain't just sitting here running. I don't know why he's so worried about a ground like those are important. There we go. Got us a butt splice on there with the fancy heat shrink, so that'll make them feel better. Apparently, you gotta know somebody to get a dampener for one of these damn things. You can't even find them at the O'Reilly's or on their website or nothing. I'm gonna go. That'll put a dampener on things right there. Oh, good one. <laughs> no, I mean that you can't get a dampener. Uh, Dad jokes are the best. He's gonna mess with headlights. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put a little light on this subject. And I'm going to go look at the old parts rig and see if I can't get it fairly easy. Well, she should be fairly easy to get. So why don't we see if we have any luck with it? There you go. That's how you remove a radiator, if you didn't know. You just kind of layer up their hood scoop. They're saying you're funky bolt, so let me go get some tools. Uh, seeing your goofy bolt came right out. Getting our second bolt here where we can get our little pulling studs in there well she's raining on me was not too bad to get off there we got her just had to get the old engine blocked up for her where she wasn't paint pointing towards the old moon oh mortsky stole a headlight from old will hop wilma here how are you doing buddy we'll just uh drain the coolant so we can put our temp gauge in so that we can laugh at it later and be like just keep going 260 ain't that hot <laughs> look at that look at the precision of them catch cans this oil jug now identifies as a uh, antifreeze catch jug. Well, if we reuse it, then that'll just lubricate the inside, right? Yeah, we'll lube up that new water pump. When it comes to headlights, at least he delivered. They even got the old brights working, so there we go. Brightest thing around here. Little blue dot to let you know they're on. There we go. Then just turn them off up here. Not. Nah. Quite. They're not. That uh, radiator looks a little soggy. Got the pulley off. So here's the one from the parts rig. And with that flange, though you probably can't tell, she's nice and flat. But the one we took off of it, well, she's quite the different story. She looks like a regular old trailer wheel around here. Your useless knowledge for the day, 2.3s don't have a harmonic balancer on the front. So that's why the poor parts folk couldn't find one. Well, so before you jump us in the comments down below. <laughs> hey, I pulled the whole hub assembly off last time and I didn't pay no attention to it. I just set it down to the side. And I assume there's something going on behind that old shield, but there ain't. There's only one way to learn, folks. <laughs> you learn from your mistakes. I should be one smart SOB. Oh yeah, that's got her shined right up. Here at Puddin's Pulley Restoration and more LLC, we'll re restore your old pulleys to the finest quality and also get pieces of metal on the tip of our fingers. But not in our eye sockets. You can protect your eyes with these stay away from park 712s right here. 
Got the old thermostat housing off. He's, he's just blazing. I'm gonna wire wheel her on the big dog. Here at Puddin's thermostat housing restore and more. The old wire wheel's king. Guys, I guess my uh, homemade thermostat last time, or gasket, I mean, let us down, so I'm sorry to disappoint y'all. I reckon it's the first time. This old pudding pop here picked up one of the $45 Speed Shop Special tri gauges. It's got the voltages, the temperatures, and the oils. And there's no holes in the firewall, and I know how particular he is, so I ain't drilling the hole in the firewall. I did get the Adapter fittings screwed in for the oil gauge and the temp gauge into the side of the block. Now we're just looking for a sweet spot to punch that through we're the firewall. We're not getting too particular here. I promise you that much, folks. Which is which is weird that I'm not all about putting a hole in the firewall because this man he puts holes in literally everything. Thermostat housing. She's a little she's a little wonky warp. So I took her over here in the Wilton Bullet Vice and smashed on it a bit. He said it's good as new now. So that's ready to go. Pulleys, I don't know what he did with those. Did you paint them? No paint. I just got the rust and then you handed me that thermostat house and I got distracted. That'll happen. I thought it was gonna be hard to like reach, but this old bookshelf thing mount up there on the firewall cow side, it's just a, just a love tap away. Where that little indentation is. Oh yeah. Look at how many quarts. You could fit gallons of coolant up there. We're probably gonna <laughs> we might need them. Pulley's on, just put the old little top hat, senior goofy bolt in. Old Mordecai is mounting some gauges here. Look, he's quite the guy. He's even got the old instructions out. Hey, 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 hey. I just wanted to drill a hole and want to know what size to drill for the screw. And it says, drill a small hole. Guess, guess how many small drill bits this man owns. Yeah. If, you're, if you're looking to get rid of some small drill bits, <laughs> send them to this guy. So. We're about to bump the engine over and see if she wants to bust off or we can do a pulley check. Pulley check. Oh yeah, she's gotta be a little more true. Oh baby, why you look so smooth. Yeah, parts rigged for the win. Woo! Two for one pays off. We got temperature gauge. You got her installed down below. Look, he even's got the old oil, uh, whatever. You know, that good plastic line, whatever you want to call favorite. it. My favorite. It's made out of recycled trash bags. So here's our location. I actually like stuff on the left because when the door's closed, you can't see this ugly crap. Did you see if we had any oil pressure when that just busted off or was your big old knee in the way? <laughs> I was not looking at that at all. I was just waiting for you to start screaming when the pulley went bouncing across the shop floor. Can't imagine why half this stuff works and we've got, uh, you know, just electrical issues and whatnot. Can't figure her out one bit. So as Sir Mordecai snoops around in the cold rain outside to take care of important stuff like maybe holding down a battery, uh, I'll just keep soldering connections on a, our dome light switch or dash light controller, whatever this may be, you know, important stuff. What in the rat rod you got going on here, dipstick Jimmy? I'm taking another dipstick. Oh boy, I'm gonna go back to soldering. And Qu just quarter, quarter washer. Just when you thought we couldn't get any more redneck. I hope it's California. Oh, it's Louisiana. L Louisiana, baby. <laughs> I don't even think it's gonna hold it any better. That's the whole thing about it. You don't think so? I don't know. I ain't it's not gonna you. hold it any worse. That's true. Oh, I, I, I drained all the blinker fluid out. There's there's the problem. Oh, let me just go ahead and scoop that back in. It'll be good. Fired her back up. None of this really wanted to participate. The good news is, I do think we're charging because if you uh, kill her, she drops way down. Fired up. She's bouncing around 13. Well, then look at that solid oil pressure at idle. 50 PSI. Thought you just did brakes. Don't you worry about that. Ugh. Those clips are whipping me. So these Fords got, uh, I don't know, I call them a slide type brake. When they got this, basically a shiv that you slide in there. Pound in there with a claw hammer. 
and uh, they kind of ride on that. Well, put in here, he took them apart by the bolts that holds the caliper bracket on. So you got to take them slides out and clean them up so that everything can slide back and forth. So we think that the caliper was slid over where it wasn't supposed to be. She was making a nice sound when you stopped. We also noticed the wheel bearing on the other side was a little bit loose. But old claw hammer brake service here is going to get us fixed up real good. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's light. All right, it's pretty light. I'm getting goofy. I just called my GoPro a camcorder. <laughs> <laughs> name, name my damned old camcorder, y'all. We got the brakes back together. Knocked out quite the list. The only thing we really didn't finish up was uh, there's a few inches of rusted out exhaust we were going to try to fix, but she ain't bad on the highway. And well, we need some sleep before we drive. So in the morning we ride, we're going to have to clean up pack up the oh shit kit before we hit the road but we'll get her dead we'll be back on her in the morning went to bed late got up a little early uh about got the old yeehaw loaded down here i know you can't see deadly but we're taking some uh tools and whatnot with us maybe a nice chest well i reckon it's time to hit the road guys hopefully uh hopefully we have us a good little trip here <laughs> Fingers crossed. Just make sure to get your old gasoline right in the back and uh, don't forget to fill up the old I don't feel like walking can. Hot damn, we're about to do, where are you peeing? This is public, sir. About a 120 something mile round trip to the city. I don't know that gets us where we're going, but she's a pretty solid trip. Give it an arm swing. I know you want to do it. Never as good as me. <laughs> we may not have a lot of things going for us, but at least we got our mood lighting set, okay? And then if your speedo says you're doing 60, you're really doing about 52, 53. Oh yeah, made it to about the Lake Thunderbird Park and well, all that means is there ain't a good area to pass me for a while and Unfortunately for about, I don't know, six people. Good solid six people back there. They're trapped for a while. And all they can read, well, I guess all they can read is the back doors that says, hot damn. <laughs> if I was them, I'd be pissed. <laughs> you guys would not believe this. So we're just cruising along down old Moonlight Bay here. And just for shits and giggles, I give the old horn a toot toot. <laughs> And the dash lights came on. Now I can see my speedo and our fuel gauge that don't work. But that's a solid help with the speedo. Oh, this thing is fresh and hot. Like Subway. <laughs> Eat fresh. Is that the mood lighting and the dash is just beautiful. This thing's so majestic. This thing's a construction blazing machine. We about made her to Noble, Norman-ish area, Perk near, kinda. Speed limit 50, now we're talking. Yeah, now we can compete. We just got out of the construction zone. Keep her moving. Let's go, folks. Look at that line of people up there. <laughs> and they're still coming. Let's go, get them kids to school, get them kids to school. The whole city of Norman's gonna be shut down today because everybody's <laughs> 20 minutes late for work. I, I write 14 kids, uh, abs, absent notes. Sorry, she, they, they just got stuck behind the hot damn machine by pudding. It's a good thing the kids are on full break right now. Oh, solid point. Orsky's gonna make a good dad one day, folks. Don't let him fool you. Duff's gonna make a good dad from taking care of you. Staying pretty true to 50 on the oil pressure. And yeah, we're staying a, a cool, as, cool as a cucumber. Good 170 on the uh, temperature. She was squealing like a pig and now she's just quiet as can be. Nice call on uh, the wire wheel and the caliper slide guide machines. Oh, don't launch worry. it from second gear? Don't worry about that second launch. Put some 438s down in her and we'll tow the arc, but just like 25 miles per hour. 
It's three minutes later, we're gonna take her to Florida. Over to the big city of Norman now, so it says 31 more miles to Chickasha. Halfway there, right? Yep, we're doing, doing solid, getting past the Oklahoma University. Roll Tide? Something like that. <laughs> I, don't, I don't get into the footballs or the sports or the colleges, so. No, don't hit me with your favorite. I'll, I'll be clueless. If you say go possums, I'll agree with you probably just because I like possums. He was never good at any of the, the above footballs, schoolings, attire, yeah. fashion. Man, hand, man, hand eye coordination don't go together. Man handling what? Yeah. I got a, I almost got a better chance of spilling a big word versus catching a football. Big word. What's your favorite big word? Big bird. <laughs> favorite big word. What I hit you with like rhetorical is pretty rhetorical. good. Rhetorical. I hit him with the rhetorical question last yeah. night. He about shit himself. Can you spell rhetorical? I know it's a R H. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> right, like, like how I, I had an H on stuff. Rhetorical. R rhetorical. Rhetorical. Shot to Quai Avenue. Did I say that right? I didn't even see what you're trying to say. Chautauqua? What's this? What what avenue is this right uh, here? Let me see. Uh, Chautauqua. That's how I'd say it. <laughs> Chautauqua. Shit. Shit talking. That's a lot of what's going on right here. Hey, tag agent? Tag a nut. <laughs> tag a nut. So, so the news is the windshield wipers. It's a gag nut. Oh, don't gag a nut. <laughs> That's the worst when you gag on your pecans or walnuts. You don't want to gag a nut. Well, let's test them brakes here. Solid. Right next to the old snot grass. Oh, you can see that we hit those wipers once and it just left a perfect line right there. That's house brand. Don't you see her checking us out? She's like, don't make eye contact with those people over there, kids. To gag a nut. <laughs> <laughs> 35 there we go baby that's a speed limit we can rock with we're getting on i-35 due south towards uh dylan does dallas and we'll uh we'll be taking an exit pretty quick the interstate's empty yeah except for that guy except for that guy Well, it was empty. The only thing is, it took about 15 seconds for everyone to catch up. <laughs> 373 for diesel? Please, that's like California price. Oh! Bump stops are good. Ball joints? Ball joints could be replaced. That's actually the, probably the scariest thing we got on here still now at this point. Your tire, I noticed the uh, tie rod end was uh, not real happy either. That'll yeah. be next suspension. Birds! Get out of here! Them, them are the black birds, and that's a sign of bad luck to come. So I ain't even knocking on woods. I just know I know what birds mean. I'm the bird expert. They're lucky I didn't have my slingshot because I would have dropped one <laughs> as they're going mobile. I just leaned over the mirror. Is that road hunting? Can you shoot a slingshot from a moving vehicle? Is that legal? That's what we forgot to pack with. That and the hatchet and the survival kit. We could have put it with the reflectors. <laughs> Some road flares. Ashley actually gave me a pike pass and I never have it with me, so we're gonna have to go pay cash to get down this old road. Exact change only, so they're just gonna have to send me a, a bill in the mail, I reckon. <laughs> it buzzes at you. <laughs> Yeah, I know you're just in a picture. <laughs> <laughs> it's us with shitty grins in the picture. Try them wipers out, son. Let me show you these $1.99 specials from the O'Reilly's. Boom! Oh, look at the way it just beads up. Just, that's the best out of any vehicle I have, I guarantee it. Which also uh, ain't saying much. Truth. <laughs> She's got her first pass of the morning. Oh, there we go. He's so slow, he's got a light on the roof. 
Yeah, we're probably gonna need one of them. We, yeah, we may need the light. Either way, we got our first pass in for the morning. Pretty proud of that. The first exit won't get you there, the second always will. So, we might have to do a little backtracking, but nonetheless, we made it to the Chickasha. What, what'd I tell you? We missed the first exit. I said, we'll take the second bed of Burger King. We go get us a Whopper right now, see the king. Old Japanese steakhouse may be closed. Oh, oh, oh mini truck stuff. You know what's oh. open? The bump stops. Speaking of mini trucks. Oh, it's in a, will it run? Oh, will it live? It says for sale in the windshield. Billets? Hi, I'm Billy Mays, but wait, there's more. We're mini trucking hardcore up here, guys. I just figured we'd show this old ranger who his daddy is, the Ford Courier. Got the old school billets. Now, classic Oklahoma mini truck, we're gonna haul some scrap metal. So, don't worry about all that. And you keep a trailer house tire with you in case you need to move on the quick. We got the Yeehaw and the old Ox Haul. Oh, you think you'd be mad if I took his tire? Don't you be talking about my Ox Haul like that? <laughs> Look at the ox haul on him. Then we got the bow tie unit right here. Like I said, a little stanky stank snowflakes on her. Got a little Uber sneak on the dash up here. Oh, she's been busted into. Not sure who's many trucks, but we, we found you here in the Chickasha. Well, Mortsky claimed he just had a tank tank, but he sure has been in there a while. Maybe dropping the old kids off at the pool. We don't know if you're only supposed to come here to look or sail or what's going on, so we'll figure out. Report here for parts hauling. Well, we got the best parts hauler around. Should have gave it away that it said registration and vendors only. Well, we made it to the old swap meet. Uh, parked here with the big dogs, all right? All the, all the big rigs park over here, so that included us. Here we go, see if we can find out how to get into here. But I don't know if you're going to a swap meet or hit or hiking. You look like you're ready to go hiking. I do it all. But what are you hoping to find today, Mordecus? I want to find some, some flathead speed parts. That's what I'm going for today. Oh, Maybe setting the bar high. Two pot intake. Setting the bar real high. That old Yeehaw could use a new wiring harness, actually. I'm about That's, over it. Hey, we're, get, we're getting to the mini truck parts already, though. The Nissan Juke and Jive. Oh, you could get a switch for Jimmy's tractor. Uh oh. Oh, how sweet would a billet knob look on, on his on tractor? <laughs> Whole set, man. Yeah, yeah. He's got a fifty dollar tractor, so I don't know that he needs a twenty dollar switch set. <laughs> Keep away, this machinery is self starting. Now you can't have T Rex. Oh, oh T Rex. Everything has oh. been for sale. Woody and T Rex sitting for sale. <laughs> <laughs> You said lazy ass Woody ain't for sale? <laughs> yeah. Lazy. He just sits around and watch it, don't he? That's <laughs> it. He just lays around. So there he is. He said that's lazy ass Woody right there. <laughs> oh yeah. He's got all the go fast goodies. Well, we got Pot County hair dryer. We got Big Duke. Oh. We got that. We got the three tooth engine stand. You know, Oklahoma style. I'll use mine all the time. Uh, Found a whole model A bed for 400 bucks. She got a little rest, but that ain't bad at all. We need a U-Haul to go home in the back of the oh, Yeehaw. No, when you paid this is much. The same for the Yeehaw as the trailer. <laughs> Just in case the Yeehaw breaks down. Oh, dumb and dumber. He's got a predator and he's an HRA street leader. Woo! They're gonna look funny on the back holding on. So Honda. Are you Mr. Navy? In the Navy. Oh, oh. power. She's, it's rough. She's chewy, but man, where are you gonna find one? Yeah, she's got built-in speed parts and them holes right there. Oh, she's an old even. I didn't... It's got the tag on it. Yeah, see that? That's cool. From another country. North Dakota. That's another country. Yeah, that's what we said. <laughs> South Canada. <laughs> R.I.P. Radio Shack, look at that. Oh, registered restroom. They always peed better than the unregistered. Hey, watch these guys here. Uh-oh. This is my favorite table so far. We can ring the bell. 
figure out what time it is, what temp it is, and give something a hatchet if we need to. Nobody knows what those are. <laughs> Found all the 59 Chevy parts. Did the video with old 64 Chevy. Everyone wanna know if those were made out of pieces of pipe, culvert, road, whatever. That's a factory piece, everyone. No, we're not in Oklahoma making fan shrouds out of road pipe, okay? Look how beautiful that is. Where's the other nine tenths of it? <laughs> Who knows? Who knows? There we go. Honest answer. It's in one of those grinder deals. There wasn't oh, yeah. much left of it. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Did you find you some hot rod parts? He's been looking everywhere for a drop tack, so I'm looky there. He's got a hot rod he starter kit. He's That's got right. a hot rod starter kit going on. Yeah. <laughs> We'd have brought the coop body. You could have had it all. Yeah, well, then you could have we five could, instead of four. Icons over there. We could spot everything in the tree. There you go. <laughs> See the moon from here. Are y'all spec ops? Where the hell did you get them binoculars? He said his wife knows how to work this, so he's selling it. <laughs> Sm smell it and see if it's old or not. It's even been used. Got a set of meats in the back. Rally Central. Oh, that matches the unit off the front of our 64 Ford, don't it? We could have saved 40 bucks at the O'Reilly's yesterday. Oh, 1200. That's close. Pretty close. Moon tank for the front of the Yee Hauler. Uh, for the front of Wheel Hop Wilma. Half of y'all are seeing the caps y'all need right now, and you can't do nothing about it. <laughs> oh, she's nice. That thing is nice. I'm sorry you gotta watch us. No. <laughs> Can I put my arm around you? Yeah, look at this guy's famous over here. Just shaking hands and kissing babies over <laughs> no, here. No, he got recognized too. <laughs> 396 big block. Oh, that's a cute shifter. Little turbo jet, baby. Got to turn the old camera sideways for the kerosene. Well, guess what? Looks like my dad pull out of his pocket. Look at that. Cap. Getting cash, Dad? Nope. Well, there you guys go. I don't know a lot about them, but I know they got the brakes built into them. So, and you got about eight lugs. They're cool. That's all you need to know. That's all you need to know. Well, they got the red line tires on them, so that makes them even cooler. But well, what a guy. <laughs> Gave me an old Pinto emblem for the Yeehaw. So maybe we'll slap that on the old valve cover of that thing. If we make it home. We were telling them, hell, we may not make it. You never know. That's what mine's supposed to look like in the uh, Edna in the 68 Travel All. I forgot what I had. <laughs> there you go. This old GM tune-up kit. Cheesy dad jokes. You hear about yard sticks? What about it? They're not making them any longer. <laughs> Good one, Jimmy. Get your new rotor, your condenser. Looks like a pill you can swallow. That's always good. And a uh, set of points. Those babies say Oklahoma, you damn right, baby. The old crate engine. <laughs> <laughs> I finally found it. And they're roundhouses, even. Everyone wears roundhouse. They're local made, damn only it. The cool guys do. Yeah, <laughs> only the cool guys do. See? What are you looking to get out of that? 100 and a quarter. Well, it's worth more because Leon Shea did it. You yeah. know that. Well, actually, I Look at this. He's got brand new seven pin. He's got four pin with a custom mount. Receiver hitch. Straight from New Mexico to the Chickasha, Oklahoma. He's got tie downs. I only have owned this truck two weeks and I had to work on it like 11 days <laughs> to get here. Well, it's because it's a Dodge. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry, we forgot the Mopar yeah, yeah, guy. Yeah, we got the right Mopar there, guy. Yeah, pick on the Mopar <laughs> guy. <laughs> you haven't seen what we needed yet? That's the only thing missing from the front of the Yeehaw. Oh. A tow bar, baby. And it's adjustable too, so we can fabricate it to fit. Oh, yeah. Now, that'll go on easy. Go over to the registration booth and have you announced. Oh, come and get it. <laughs> We're looking for pudding. Yeah, look what he brought me, guys. New old stock Datsun grill right there. <laughs> he was looking for me on a scooter and he found me. Well, man, I appreciate it. Oh, no problem, buddy. Thank you. 
So Mortsky definitely bought a lot more than I did. Now I did just pick up the old mini buffer. I figure with all of our detailing, we might need that. Uh, got the Datsun grill that gentleman gave me, Kevin. That was awfully nice and I sure appreciate it. We got our mirrors, but he's got a whole load of stuff just coming. We're loaded down. We'll go over our haul. <laughs> we'll go over the haul once we get home. We're gonna roll out. Assuming we make it home, cause yeah, she could use a master cylinder and slave cylinder for this clutch. She is not feeling good. She's been doing pretty good on the hills, but this one was pretty damn steep and finally kicked her down in the dirt. I'm slowly closing the gap. Come on, baby. Get him. Got the old box truck mafia here. He's gonna check us out on the YouTube. He he liked the old yeehaw. What'd you charge him for a picture? 20 bucks. 20 bucks will get us home. Sandwich money. This just blowing his doors off. Back around. Let me know what I can get over. So oh can man, you grab third up. going uphill. Ain't no pup. Well, we successfully made her back to old uh, Tecumseh here. So, back to the gas station we started at this morning. Let's top her off and do some uh, calculating in the whole situation and see if we can't figure out what kind of gas mileage we got today. See how thirsty she is. So, we just did our round trip here and got 19 and some change miles to the gallon. 20 miles to the gallon all the, out of the old Yeehaw. And there must be 400 pounds of crap back here. If not 4,000 pounds. She's just loaded. <laughs> now we're busted. Look who just found us at the gas station. I was trying to holler at y'all when I drove by. We can't hear it deadly. Both y'all are deaf. Apparently that thing has an awesome sound system in it. You down with the OCP? Oatmeal cream pie, baby. I love them. Break the damn tailgate. You got an extra? Got a spare. Got a spare. You don't carry a spare tailgate with you? You should. We got the little buffer here, which I think we can clamp to the table when we need it, which ain't very often. But when we need it, we'll have it. Look at these mirrors. I think the mirrors is the probably the best thing. Maybe not. I don't know. Mirrors are pretty cool. Pretty happy with those. We got the Proto case here. We're just going to slap her full of tools, maybe a spare fuel pump. Keep that in the old Yeehaw. Won't hurt. Everyone calls the 2-3 the Pino engine. It ain't a 2-3, it's a Pino engine. So we got the Pino emblem for free. That guy was nice and donated it. That gentleman, Kevin, hit me with the NOS grill in the parking lot. It was pretty damn awesome. And Mortsky, arm swinging and all. He got a pretty decent haul for the day, so why don't you take him through? We got like a 57.8 Olds J2 Tri-Power air cleaner she's a little she's a little chewy but i've seen these lids bring big bucks so i mean there's that we got some five on five so like c10 chevy eight inch wheels slots eight inch ford 15 by eights painted got, half decent wheels we got chrome headlights bar for a model a we got a 32 ford front end model t closed car windshield we got some gauges some red fuel hoses you know it's almost as good as flexi hoses deal of the day was the uh flathead zoomy headers and we got a quadra bog flathead distributor and the prop we're gonna put her on the back of the u-haul so she spins as we go down the road getting... I'm, a, I'm gonna be like one of them yahoo guys you always talk about there Just we go be the yahoos kind of got the shop all clean uh, we can't get too much done. We gotta go watch Hot Rod here. She's gonna perform during halftime of the football game. Give us a good kick with them white shoes. Let's see a kick. Come give on. A, give a cookie. Knuckle sandwich in a cookie. Oh! oh. Right in the forehead. All the way to the top. Are you okay? Woo! Toe touch. Watch out, y'all. Oh, yeah. Give her that old Morsky power lift. Strong like ox, dumb like plow. What's the oxen noise? <laughs> <laughs> oh, are we maxed? It's about one in the morning now. Uh, engine's out. So that's going with old Sir Morticus up to the North Dakotas. I think this is where we're going to kill it for the night. In the morning, we'll get that loaded up, kind of clean up our mess. 
But I think that's it for this video. So hope you guys enjoyed. A little bit of everything going on. I mean, fixing on the Yeehaw, driving the Yeehaw, road tripping the Yeehaw, buying parts in the Yeehaw, and then pulling on a truck. Hope you guys enjoyed old Mortsky getting to hang out. Couple collaboration videos going on there. If you didn't see where we beat on those things, go uh, check that video out. And merchandise should be back up on the website, guys. We took a little break from it. We gotta get caught up on orders. Uh, hope you guys know we ain't uh, Amazon, okay? So we ain't got two day shipping. Uh, just be patient with us. We appreciate the support, but we're still busy parents doing the best we can. And I'm on the Instagrammer. I think I got a Patreon page set up. Try to put all that down in the description. And I will see you guys next time. But don't forget, sitting on your ass won't finish your project. Staying in the shop till one in the morning, five nights in a row may get you divorced. That's going to be the new one. <laughs> we'll see you guys next time. He's all business. He ain't even talking. He's just... On to the next one. Straight faced. I love how we put a carburetor on it to drive it out there twice, ramming it. I jumped it. out there and I, and I just, what it hasn't run in two days? <laughs> just jumped in there, didn't even hit, just boom, and I'm like, we're gonna take it apart. <laughs> <Ruined> it. <laughs>